Hello, Lori Michelle Mashiach here today to talk about conquering fear. I had this conversation just the other day with Hashem because I'm petrified. I literally am petrified in every moment. I am scared about what I'm doing, meaning putting these videos out, writing this book, blindsided by Messiah, saying I'm Mashiach to the world, and the things that are in this book are dicey. I tell the truth. I give explanations that were given to me by Hashem, and I'm honest, I'm blunt, I'm right to the point. And these videos are very direct, and they're becoming more hard-hitting, meaning I'm not holding back any punches. I'm telling you what he's saying, and explaining that we're in deep trouble. So am I scared about what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm scared. In fact, when I hit publish on this book several months ago, I had a bout of hypertension. I got very sick. I suffer from hypertension. In fact, recently I was so stressed out that I wound up taking medication for a few days. And now I'm being tested. I'm going to have to take a 24 hour test. So I am stressed out about this, but what's really making me afraid is not doing this. If I were not to do this, there's nobody else who knows what I know, and there's no one else that speaks to Hashem and is this closely connected to him in every moment. So we would perish. I'm more afraid of that. When I walk around, I see the cracks in the armor. I see the problems everywhere. I see Yetzirah in everyone and everything, evil. And I twitch. It's become normal to you, whoever you are, that, oh, Joe just got diagnosed with Hodgkin's. I'll pray for him. And it's normal. Every minute, someone's being diagnosed, every second around the world, diagnosed with cancer, children are committing suicide, mass murders all over the United States of America. And it's like business as usual, meaning when it happens, we're horrified, we pray, we cry. In the case of 9-11, we were in shock for a couple of weeks. And now we hardly ever talk about 9-11 and it's a family outing to go to the monument. It's a day out with the kids. So, I'm petrified. I don't know why everyone else is not petrified. Some people are petrified when it touches their own family, hits their own backyard, they're petrified. But I walk around scared every day that that war is coming, the prophesized war is coming. And it's not a fairy tale, it's true. And there are people all over the internet who know these are the end of days, and it's true. And all the things that I'm talking about, he just said, can be sourced. So I'm telling the truth, but hardly anyone is willing to listen because of my gender, because I'm not Jewish enough, I'm not Christian enough, I'm not enough of whatever you're looking for, but I am Mashiach. And I did write this book, and I am petrified, and I have hypertension, and I'm smiling because he keeps me smiling and he keeps me going. So how do I conquer fear? My fear of stopping this pales in comparison than what would happen to you, to all of us, if I stopped. He tells me there is no one else who knows what I know. He says, I am this. I ask him all the time, can I really do this? Am I capable? He said, no, you are this. There's no one else who is this. No one else knows what you know. No one else can tell them in any moment where they're heading wrong and how to get it right. And I don't even know why I'm this. I'm just instinctually this. Mashiach, meaning I could talk to you, whoever you are, and help you with your problems. I could tell you what the source is, where it's coming from, and how to correct it. And I don't even know how I know. I just know. And he says, that's my nature. It's who I am. 
so conquering fear, you conquer fear when you know what you're doing is more important than yourself. When you're doing something for everyone else, when you're not even on the radar, my well being is not on the radar. Yeah, I have hypertension. I'm more scared of dying before I get this done, meaning get you to listen to me, to read my book, to come together, to learn what he wants. I'm petrified because he says, this is Custard's last stand. I don't get another chance. You don't get another chance. This is it. So I'm taking my hypertension very seriously. I'm very health conscious, but I have a problem. I'm under extraordinary stress and my health is being compromised. But guess what? So is yours. Cancer, AIDS, diabetes, multiple sclerosis, all these diseases that you think are normal and everyday occurrences in this world, just the world as it is, is self-created by mankind, by evil. True. And we need to clean up this horrific mess. I walk around and I don't know how you walk around and smile. You don't know how I'm doing this and smiling, and I do. Hashem, the king of the universe, is really the only reason why I smile and I believe there's a thread of hope that redemption is real. Because you're not showing me that you're capable right now, and I need you to. I need you to go online and listen to me and vet me. You don't need to believe that I'm Mashiach, but you need to hear what I know. And if you read my book, you're going to be shocked how much I know. You're going to think, how does this Jewish mommy from New Jersey know all this stuff? Some of it, I don't know how I know, but two chapters of it was given to me by Hashem. Aren't you just a little curious why a Jewish mommy dropped everything in America and came to Israel to do this? And I'm not even this much crazy. You got to be a little curious, please. So, fear? Yeah, I'm getting sick over this, but I'll conquer that. I'll conquer hypertension with the help of Hashem. He said, yes, you will. Please, Hashem. Because not doing this or dying before I get my job done is more fearful, more awful than doing this, putting myself out there and putting my life on the line. Truly, I need to get to you. I need to help you. And you need to get to work. We all need to get to work and clean up this horrific, hideous mess. God bless you. Do it for your kids. Buy the book. Let's come together and heal this world one person at a time. Peace on earth in our time. God bless you.